this, this one is also another hematoma. So for small hematoma or hematuria, it is very common after renal biopsy because there is some puncture air. But if, if there is very large, more than four centimeters, or that is maybe a quad middle sized, we have to be careful to check out the change of the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin level, or whether it is uh, the uh, blood pressure patient yet. So this is a common test on the uh, pathology uh, uh, stairs or to tip out, like the night microscopy. You know, the most common one is HE for the uh, uh, tissue samples, but in in renal, in, in renal samples, we have to do also pass juice and try them. HE, we can identify the nuclei of every cells. So we can tell different types of cells. But the past can highlight the protein or some glycogen, so we have to identify the messenger or some matrix. Genes can highlight the GBM or some fibrous tissues, so we can to, uh, to identify the GBM and some uh, fibrosis areas. Tritum is more common for the, to identify the uh, fibrosis. Yeah. So, for immunofluorescence, we have to uh, immunoglobulin. Most of the time, you know, since we spent here for the past, plastic uh, past free is also do not forget kappa lambda. You know, kappa lambda, there is, there is some imbalance. Uh, yes, uh, just to the uh, variation, 